Welcome to the video component of Tossing and Turning, a tutorial by me, Blink Pop Shift. Thank you for getting in bed with me. Please get comfortable and have your guides open to the introduction. We all know how important tossing and turning can be in times of political upheaval, family crisis, unemployment, even allergy season. So rest assured that in no time, this guide using my patented 10 question system will have you churning with the best of them. Now I'm gonna have you pause this video in just one second, turn to the first question, answer it as honestly as possible, and then scrub the video to the timestamp provided. When you hear this sound, Please pause the video again and go to the next question in your manual. Ready, set, pause. Well, I mean, do you sleep alone when I'm not here with you? Or are you crowded with legs? Human, feline, canine, insect? My arms itch with the tracks of flying needles licking the blood from my capillaries. Thankfully, there's no malaria where I live. The wet edge will fade and leave a light yellow ring where the shame was. The light yellow ring will soon be joined by the leopard spots of soaked through blood. Do the dreams ever crumble when now awake the blanket having long since been kicked to the floor, you unlock your phone and read the morning briefing. I don't remember my dreams, but even those can do nothing to protect my cracked lips from the morning news. Sometimes I doze off and swim breaststroke from classroom to classroom. There's no water, and no one else has this strange power, so I spend my days floating near the ceiling, looking down at others as though they're at the bottom of a deep pool, nearly crushed by the weight of the invisible water. I have my best ideas in bed. It goes like this. Dinner was probably at 9, or maybe 10 if Belly and I are feeling particularly attached to our work. He microwaves while I fold the mountain of sheets newly freed from the dryer where they sat cold for two days after the washing process. Then we eat and watch John Oliver talk about yet another example of how being black or brown in this country is systematically punished. Then Belly takes back the dishes and I put away the sheets and he goes back to working in the office and I draw until I'm too tired to make good aesthetic decisions and I crawl. Some days, literally, if my brain is courting a migraine into bed. Then comes my favorite part, floofing. The nightly ritual in which I lay flat and belly snaps the sheet and then the blanket full of air over me and lets them settle before climbing in next to me, kissing me goodnight and soon wandering back to his computer in the other room. When he shuts the bedroom door and the room goes black, my brain lights up with connections and ideas. Sometimes all my language center can come up with is its oft-repeated anxieties and circular worries, but on a good night, if it stays away from the aching wagon wheel deep ruts, then bedtime is temporarily averted, and one more story, one more lyric, or buttonhole can slip through in the midnight quiet. The right assistive devices can do wonders for the sex life. If you're in the market for the kind of sleep surface that can accommodate these predilections, look no further than the time-tested hammock. Saturday is sheet changing day in my bedroom. Queen size mattress, fitted sheet, top sheet, never matching, and two pillowcases on each pillow. There's a duvet with a cover that is only washed a handful of times a year. In the winter, we pile on a heavy black and red silk and cotton blanket meant for a king, so it drapes down to the floor on all sides.
Leia, my 11-year-old scaredy cat, though no bigger than a newborn baby, claims acres of matted sheets and pillow mountaintops. This is her kingdom. I'm just sleeping in it. Thank you for participating in this life-changing course. We spend nearly 87% of our lives in bed, so it is crucial that we understand how to get the most out of our time here. From my bed to yours, may you toss and turn those troubles away. Good night.